Hey YouTubers, it's Mommy with the Naive Ruthless and I'm going to do my November favorites video. The first and foremost, peanut butter crackers, specifically the Target Market Pantry brand. They're really good. We've been really digging them as a, as a whole family this month. Cashews, not specifically the Fred Meyer brand, <laughs> uh, but usually lightly salted. These ones are a little bit salty, but lightly salted cashews have been on our awesome list. Uh, as for food that I don't have with me because it's all gone, white grape peach juice has been uh, popular in this household. And um, taco bowls, we've been eating those like at least twice a week, it's, it's pretty pathetic. We finally started actually using this little swing right here. We hadn't used it until she was, you know, like a little over two months old and she likes, she likes the lights here. She doesn't really care about the music, but she likes the little dangly things. I also like the fact that it's kind of small and portable too. It's not some big bulky thing that we had to leave stuck in one spot. We can kind of take it from room to room with us wherever we might need it. Other things that she likes are, um, the, she likes to grab the rings that we hang on that just to just grip on them because she likes to just hold on to things. She's also a really big hand holder, so I think that's why she likes it so much. She just likes to wrap her fingers around and just hold on. Toys that if she's freaking out will make her like stop for a second. Uh, this silly little uh, just Disney princess <laughs> coach car rattle. It makes a crazy enough noise that it stops her. And this kind of taggy blanket that my mom actually made it makes that noise. So she just likes to sh shove it in her mouth and chew on it. So she really likes that. She used to really like this, but it broke the squeaker. It used to squeak. So now she doesn't really care about it. <laughs> and just any of those kind of blanket toys that she can just rub on her face. She's, she's really into just rubbing all the kinds of toys on her face, so. For my son, he's been really into this United States puzzle right here. He's been really interested in uh, in the states and where they are and stuff like that. He actually knows the names and locations of 10 of them, so I thought that was pretty, pretty cool. I really like this puzzle because of how like educational it is, but it seems like the person who cut out the shape of the United States and the person who cut out the, the shape of the individual states was like a totally different person because they totally just don't quite match up but it's still a really cool puzzle to have so I've been really appreciating just washable crayons because my son's been coloring a lot lately and we have carpets and he misses the page a lot <laughs> or you know on the table or whatever anywho they're washable even out of carpet so that's awesome he's been really enjoying this Santa Claus that his uh grandma got him because we're trying to really get him like all hyped for Santa this year because it's like the first year he actually like gets it so um before we take him to see Santa we wanted to like get him all like excited so she bought him this to get him excited and we also realized at the beginning of the season that we didn't have like any Christmas books so I went then I uh uh, one on Amazon they had to buy three and then you get one for and then you get a fourth one for free Christmas books and so I went and bought four books and then that same day his grandma brought over like three Christmas books so now we're like stocked up in Christmas books but a couple of the favorites have been uh, this Merry Christmas uh, Stinky Face uh, I don't know if he's in the book I Love You Stinky Face but he likes I Love You Stinky Face so we thought this would be fitting so Merry Christmas Stinky Face and then his grandma bought Santa is coming to Washington because he's been into the whole United States and all the states and everything. So this is actually a really, really cute book also. My grandfather just decided to buy all of his grandson's tricycles and so my son has been in love with, um, with his tricycle. I should actually put the clip in of him biffing it on the tricycle. <laughs> I think I might do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was so silly. He's funny. So yeah, he really loves his tricycle and he's been begging to ride it like every day. My son just uh, started recently using the potty uh, instead of going into diaper. So I've been really enjoying these toddler flushable wipes because we cloth diaper and we cloth wipe. But usually when we cloth diaper and he goes number two, I use the diaper to wipe off the excess and then I can spray then spray that in the toilet with the sprayer. And so I don't really use a lot of, get a lot of the guck on the on the wipe, on the cloth wipe because I don't want to send it to them and wash. But when he just goes in the potty, there's nothing really to wipe all, all the guck with. So uh, we use toilet paper and then we just give him a good old wipe down with one of these um, toddler wipes right there. So <laughs> I've been enjoying those so I don't have to like, I don't know, go and fetch one of the cloth wipes and get it all toddler poopy. <laughs> I know this probably should be in the December favorites because it's kind of towards the end of November, but I figured that uh, people would want to use these in December, so it's probably good to include now. And so it's these lights right here, they're LEDs, and I just like, I mean, they're, it's great that they save energy and, and, all, and all that jazz, but I really just like uh, the, the colors <laughs> that they use, how, how vibrant they are, and they're, this is really, really pretty colors. So I like these ones right here specifically. I got these on sale at Target for $8 for one box, and I had 
uh, three strands left over from last year and I just bought like one more strand to just kind of pump up my stash. I've been using this monkey book a lot. Several years ago I used to have a monkey book just like this and I would write all my thoughts and all my everything I need to know in there and just have a pen with it at all times. Uh, and then I just kind of fell out of the habit of it and I don't, I don't really know why. Um, but I recently started using it again so I can write down everything I need to know and so I've been, I've been really enjoying this again. It's nice to put my thoughts somewhere instead of uh, on random scraps of piece of paper everywhere and losing them all. I've been really enjoying my new phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy S3, and I was originally gonna go with a, the next iPhone, um, but it was, it was just really expensive, and this, it was on sale, and then we also got like a, a discount on it, price on it, and then we um, traded in some of our old phones. So anyways, all in all, it came down to $35 per phone. My husband got one too, and I, I just, I was worried about going from like an iOS to Android, but it's it's amazing. I, I am really glad that I went with this instead of just another iPhone. Also, this new case that I bought, it's uh, it was actually really, really cheap, but until we had this case, I was terrified that I was going to like drop and just shatter my phone. It just feels so fragile. So even though this is just kind of a cheap case, it's, it's a little bit tough and it's not quite as, as wimpy as just a silicone cover. So I really like the case. I think that's it as far as like physical things go. For games, I've been playing uh, Sims Free Play on my phone a lot. It's a free version of Sims, uh, and it's actually, it's, it's pretty addictive. It's weird though, because it works in real time. So, uh, like, if your Sim has to be at work at like 8 in the morning, then you have to send them in work at 8 in the morning. So, basically, they miss work a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've still been enjoying it, and it's, and it's free, so that's awesome. We as a family have been playing Silent Hill Downpour. Uh, my husband's actually playing it, but it's one of those games that we're all just like sitting on TV and watching it like it's a television show. <laughs> and my, my son really likes zombies and so he really enjoys it. Uh, and it's, it's very it's very much like a more puzzle than fighting game. And so I, I so we really enjoyed like the whole storyline and then the puzzles of aspect of it, so. For television shows, uh, my husband and I have been really enjoying Fringe. We watched that since it first started, however many years ago, and this is on its last season now. So everyone should just go and check it out. Just because I mean, it sucks. It's not really a chance to save it anymore, but still, you should check it out because it's just an amazing show and it's just getting so crazy at the very end of it. I'm really excited to see how they uh, conclude it. So. And then my son has been really enjoying the um, new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They just started redoing the show, and, they, and it's really cool new graphics. Uh, and it's it's really funny, and it's really cool, and my husband's really excited because he loved the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles when he was a child, and so now it's a way for uh, something that he shares with his son, because now Montag really loves it. His favorite one is the red one, Raphael. My favorite is Donatello. My husband really likes Michelangelo. So. Yeah, I think that's it. I'll be sure and uh, update you guys for my December favorites at the end of the month.